Yeah, yo, it's your boy Smooth the Hustler. It's Trigger the Gambler, you yeah, know. It's DVL, it's Christ. Yeah, it's some G right here on G4 TV. That's right. Freestyle 101, you dig? We about to go up in the booth and tear it down. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, you know it. Keep it locked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we got the squad back. Uh huh. The reunion right here on G4 TV. You know yes, what I'm saying? sir. Brooklyn Hustler. Gambler. DVL is Christ. Woo! Preacher. Uh, Trigger the Gambler. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
and being inspired by by being around them and them being so good at a young age. Like I remember him raps from this dude at 10 years old that's better than most dudes <laughs> albums. You understand what I'm saying? So being influenced by that, you immediately want to emulate that. And I think from emulating that, what I did was um, culminated the two styles. I said to myself, okay, I, I could sing good and being around great MCs, you know, it, it's rubbing off. So why don't I fuse the two and come with something different and see if people will like it. And once it came out there and it was perpetuated to the masses, people started digging it. It was just like one plus one equal two, you know what I mean? There's a difference between an artist and a rapper. See, a rapper is bred from the street with no with no guidance and, and he's not produced. When you're being produced, you know, you, you, you have the ability to create songs because there's song structure. Right. With coming from the street and just being a, a rapper or, or just a basic MC, it's no holds barred. There's there's right. really no definitive rule to create a record, you know, because a, fr a freestyle or a rapper is just going to spit to be to get busy, right? To, right. to get his point across no or to show his capabilities. Right. Versus an artist who will write and record for the purpose of entertaining. Hip hop, basically underground music at the time, freestyling. Mm -hmm. It um started getting played on Stretch radio. And Stretching Barbados, Hank Love. Mm -hmm. Um, they had the rap seminars that was going on too. You know, and we would go to like, they had the Lyricist Lounge that was going on. They had the Pozo Lounge, AKAs. they had AKAs, they had SOs, yeah, yeah. like all those spots like that at, in the early 90s was the spots that all the MCs would come to and battle rap inside those. So. What you would say in a freestyle, you couldn't really put on records. Like, you know, you wouldn't try to put it on records because more freestyle was like, well, we're going to make records in the studio, but we can't say this, so put that on a freestyle and a mixtape. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it was more, the mixtape back then was more just to cover up for what you couldn't say right. on your on, albums on your album. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that was a part the of cuts it too. that never made that the never album. made the album. Yeah. yeah. The mixtape culture back then basically was like, it was more of, you didn't really go in the studio and record and, and do ad-libs and stuff like that behind your freestyles. You know, back then it was kind of like more raw. You had a mic, you had a turntable, and you basically freestyled and whatever the best, you know, the best take you caught on the tape, or even if it was messed up, no matter what, you, you put it out there. And that's where the whole freestyling thing where people say, oh, that's not written. That came off the head. And you know, and it kind of like you got to understand the artist a little more to see if he was lyrically and clown when it came capable of doing what he doing when it comes down to freestyling because freestyling and making a record and doing that is totally different 